Johnny Holiday with you, joined by Lance Nix. Before we talk about yesterday's ball game, I know you were a great quarterback in Midland, Texas. Not only a great quarterback, but a heck of a baseball player. Any record-setting days for you as a quarterback? Uh, probably my own record. I don't know. I wasn't the greatest quarterback, but we had a good team, and um, and I, I played well and had a great time doing it. It was a lot of hard work and um, a really good experience for me in high school. And you've heard that I was a quarterback. I did hear you're a quarterback. You had some success in high school, didn't you? I did have a record of zero and ten as me as a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk about yesterday. What a day for you, not only at the plate, but also with that glove around first base. Haven't done it since you were back at Midland High School? I hadn't played first since I think my junior year in high school, but um, I, I'm still sort of in shock that I was over there yesterday, and, and I'm starting there today, so I'm, I'm, I'm just really trying to get ready and make sure I know what to do and, and really just try to relax and play with my instincts. I've never been in the infield you know, in, in so long, so I think um, I'm going to try to have fun with it and just stay loose and see what happens. Doesn't it come back quickly, though? It does, you know, but it's a quick game, too. And I, <laughs> I not being in the infield in more than a decade is a little bit of an adjustment, so we'll see what happens. And the first batter up, it's a pop foul that you have to go after, right? <laughs> well, you, we know it's going to happen. I mean, Absolutely. the game finds you. Anytime you, you enter the game at any position, it's amazing how often the first first or second batter hits you a ball and tests you. One thing about this ball club, Lance, that you've discovered, as everybody else has watching Mass and the fact this ball club fights and battles to the very end is evidenced by all these late inning wins. Yeah, we do. Um, that's, that's part of the makeup of our team, and, and I think there's enough guys around that have we've had success coming back, and we know we know that anything can happen at any time, and um, especially from the seventh inning on, uh, we, we really expect to make things happen and to, to not make the game easy for the other team to pull off. So uh, I think that's something we'll continue to do, and, and that's a strong point of our team. Your numbers this year, better than any you posted in the last couple of years, certainly better than the last year with Cincinnati. Everything is up, and you're having your best year probably in the major leagues. Well, it's been a long time coming. I've, I've worked hard, and I've, I've had to fight for an opportunity to play, and I, I've for the most part feel pretty healthy and um, I'm happy to be able to, to get comfortable in the box and, and you know, hopefully have, some, have, a, have a successful rest of the year. You find some of the younger guys, and I say guys early 20s, look to you for a little leadership because you've been there? Yeah, that's something I haven't seen coming, but I think when I, re when I remember myself being being their age, being Espy and, and Desi's age, um, I really look to guys like David DeLucci and, you know, we had Mark DeRosa and other guys that were veterans when I was playing, and um, I've sort of embraced that role a little bit reluctantly. I don't feel like a veteran. I still feel I still feel young, and, and I'm learning every day at the same time, but um, I, I like helping these guys along, and it's really exciting to watch, watch them develop. And one thing you're doing right now, that Achilles is not 100% yet, is it? Not really. It's not 100%, but it's playable. And if I have to run on it, I can. When you talk about uh, efforts and putting out on the field, I think you are a perfect example of guys that work hard and wait for their time. When the time comes, you got to produce. Yeah, you do, and it's a short window sometimes. So uh, we all know we all have to stay ready and prepared, and we want to win games overall. I think we have a good team chemistry here, and guys are more concerned about the team than themselves. I know I'm that way, and um, and we just love winning. There's nothing better than that. At a Midland High School, a couple of other pretty notable figures came along, too. Yeah, um, from Mike Stanton, Mike Timlin, and uh, Randy Velarde, some of the guys that are finished playing now, um, also played against Roy Williams, the receiver, and, and uh, Cedric Benson in football. So that was a good time playing against them. They, they beat us up a little bit in football, but it's been fun to follow their careers. Hey, Lance, great to have you with us, my friend. Thanks for the time. Always appreciate it. Thank you. you.